I'm gonna show you guys how to get the alt store on iOS 16. Now, if you guys don't know what the alt store is, basically it's an application that allows you to install third party apps onto your iPhone or your iPad. Um, apps like emulators, jailbreak utilities, and other applications like that. Pretty much it lets you install apps that are not available from the app store. And like I said, we are doing this on iOS 16 and I am going to show you guys how to do it uh, on my Mac. There is a Windows version available for this and uh, you can find all that on the FAQ on the Alt Store website. Uh, but to do this, a computer is required. You do need a Mac or a Windows computer in order to use the Alt Store. There is no way around it unless you are jailbroken. So a uh, computer is required. So we're gonna go ahead and hop onto my computer here and we're gonna go ahead and go to the Alt Store website as you guys can see here. Like I said, if you're on Windows or even if you're on Mac and you're wondering step-by-step step how do you do these things, you go to the FAQ here and it will literally walk you through step-by-step step, um, how to get Alt Store up and running. So if you guys have any questions, be sure to check out the FAQ because it might be covered there. Uh, but we here, we're here at the website, so I'm gonna go ahead and download it for Mac OS as that is the operating system I am using and it is in our downloads. So I'm gonna open up our downloads and I'm just gonna click on the zip to extract it. And there you can see there is the alt server. So now I'm just gonna drag and drop this uh, into my applications here. And as you can see, there is the alt server. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up the alt server. And if it doesn't let you open the alt server right away, right click and then click open and you can bypass it if it's not letting you open it. So right click and then click on open. So we're gonna go ahead and launch it. And then you can see here, alt server notifications. And as, if you look here in the upper right of my status bar, you can see there is the alt server. Now the next thing we need to do is launch the mail application and we're gonna go into preferences and manage plugins. And we're gonna make sure that the alt plugin dot mail bundle is enabled. If it's not turned on, just go ahead and check it on, click on allow access and make sure that is up and running because that is required for the alt store and alt server to work. Also your mail application needs to be left open in the background. If I were to close out my mail app, it, the alt server would not work. So just minimize it, leave it in the background and uh, it will allow you to install apps. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the alt store in the status bar or the alt server rather. And we're gonna install the alt store onto my 12 Pro Max. Also, as you can see, this is a way you can enable JIT. Certain emulators require this for them to run. And when you have, you know, that emulator on your device, it will be shown here. So as you can see, it goes into a subcategory. So if I needed to enable JIT, you know, for a specific emulator, it would be listed here and you can use this to uh, enable it. So kind of cool that they have that. You can also have alt server launch at login. You can uninstall the mail plugin. You can check for updates and that's basically everything. So we're gonna go ahead and install the alt store onto my 12 Pro Max. And at this point, you are prompted to use your Apple ID to sign in. This is 100% safe. It's just required for apps to be put onto your iPhone. If you want to create a burner Apple ID, feel free. I actually have two. I have my main Apple ID and a burner but I will be logging in with my main Apple ID, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Okay, now that you have input your credentials, just click on install and give the alt server around, I don't know, like 20 to 30 seconds or so uh, for the application to show up onto your iPhone. Uh, it does take a second for it to install it, so I'll be back as soon as it starts loading. All right, and as you can see, alt store is now loading onto my iPhone. Uh, I also do wanna mention that I did do this all wirelessly. My iPhone is not connected to my computer. Um, if it doesn't work wirelessly for you, be sure to just plug it into your computer. I believe that is a setting on your Mac that allows you to do that, uh, to you know do updates and backups wirelessly. So you have to have that enabled for the wirelessness to work, if that's even a word. But um, if it doesn't work wireless, just plug it in straight to your computer and it will work. So we're gonna go ahead and launch the alt store now. 
And I'm gonna allow access for all of this. Uh, Alt Store would like to find and connect to devices. I'll say allow. I'll let it give me notifications as well. They're usually useful. They're letting you know that your apps are about to expire and you need to turn your computer on to um, re-sign them. So I'll say allow on that as well. Now, when you first launch the Alt Store, you will have to log in to the application with your Apple ID once again. So I'm gonna do a refresh and it should prompt me to log in. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, and once again, once you have input your credentials for your Apple ID, go ahead and just click on sign in. Give it a few seconds to load. As you can see, little prompted screen here, how it works. I'll just say, got it. As you can see, Alt Store is refreshing. And there you go. Now on a side note, I'm gonna add this in, that my Alt Store and the applications that I sign are for 365 days. Reason being is because I have a paid Apple developer account uh, that does cost $100 per year. If you have a free Apple developer account, which most of you will, your signing period is seven days, so one week. So before these apps stop working, just make sure that you have your computer on and open with the mail application running in the background. And you can simply just click on refresh before those seven days are up. Also, as you can see, you will have inactive applications. Um, this is pretty sweet. You can just, you know, um, turn them on and off as you need. So you can have multiple applications. And if you want to activate one, just click on activate. Uh, to get it up and running again. That's very useful for emulators and other stuff like that. Uh, but that's basically how you get the Alt Store. So now you can install third-party applications onto your device on iOS 16. Hopefully this tutorial was useful for you guys. If it was, uh, definitely throw a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been IDM, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.